Breathe in the air, the light that surrounds me. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go far. Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a crockery unit for small spaces. And if some of you out there are like me, I had no idea what it was before because someone made this request. So I had to go online and I guess as much. It's something you place somewhere around the dining area. And she wanted it for small spaces. So what I'm going to do now is use crates that I've had at home for a while, but I got it from Michael's for $5.99. Now these are crates that are smaller than the larger ones. And all I'm going to do now is just join these crates together and see where I can go from there. I'll be using wood glue and screws. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Because my hand will not be able to move well inside, in the middle, I'm going to be using a long nail. The crates are small and I would love to have a provision for wine glasses. So what I did was to get two larger crates from Michael's again and to my surprise they were going for $5.99. They were probably on sale. I have no idea because it's cheaper than your regular wooden crates. I'll be attaching them to the crates at the bottom but I noticed that there was some kind of space in between. That's because the sizes are not the same. So I'm going to have something in the middle that's going to compensate for that opening. I'll be making a provision for few plates and I'll be doing that with devils. This is a leftover from another project, so I'm going to cut it down to size and attach them to the crates. Because of the space in between the pieces of wood that I have here, you will notice that the dowels are not evenly spaced. But that's not going to be a problem because the plates are still going to sit comfortably there. I'm going to repeat the same thing to the other crate. Remember that this is for a small space and it's going to carry just very few items. I'm done with the provision for plates. Now I'm going to go up and make provisions for the wine glasses. Each crate will be able to hold two wine glasses, so that makes it four in total. All I'm doing is just gauging it to make sure it's okay before I continue. 
I added something here because the crates that I got had wood at the corners and this will make it hard for me to have something flat that's gonna go all the way. As you can see, the other smaller crates don't have the wooden attachments at the corners, just this extra crates that I bought. So I had to do this for the extra crates that I bought. I will use a paint stirrer that I got from Home Depot for a while now and cut it to size. And then I'm also going to be using PVC strips that was a leftover as well. And I cut it into smaller pieces and I'll be attaching it to the wood pieces. Ideally, all the smaller pieces are supposed to be attached in the middle, but because of the issue that I have with my crate, I'm going to be attaching them like this. Now you can also use wood, but you're gonna have to make sure that it's smaller to make it easy for the wine glasses to go through when it's attached to the crates. This is what it looks like when I was done. And I took it out and I spray painted it silver and that didn't really turn out so well. So then what I did was to cover up some parts of the crate with glitter foam sheets. And you can get this from Walmart and also from the Dollar Tree. I'll cut it down to size and attach the pieces to the crates using a hot glue gun. I would love to have some sort of reflection and for that I'm going to be using mirrors. I didn't have long ones but I'm just going to use the one that I have and then add something else at the bottom. I'll do this for just four crates and then the last two crates I'm going to use acrylic sheets for them because of the plates that will be there. This is a decorative onlay that I spray painted silver that is going to be attached to the crates somewhere here. I'll use hot glue and nails. The rough open space that I have here is going to be covered with PVC strips that I'm going to cover with mirror reflective paper. And the list of all the items that I use for my project is going to be down in the description box below. I use leftover mirror acrylic sheets for the sides. I'll be using diamond wrap around the edges. I will need what I have here in the middle to flow with a decorative onlay and I'll be using gems for that. Now the two sides are going to be covered with a decorative wallpaper that has some bits of glitter on it. It was so beautiful. I'm going to cut it to size and attach it to the sides. The top is going to be covered with boards and marble contact paper. Now my mini crockery is complete. You can style this and arrange it however you like. Now, if you don't want to have it small like this, you can add extra crates. I was eager to know what it was going to look like with extra crates. So I got four small ones and painted them white and made it look a bit similar to what I had already made. And as you can see, it kind of goes together. Now, this is totally up to you. You can design this as large as you like using crates. I added push lights that uses a remote on the extra crates that I attached to what I had already to make it look pretty even when there's very little lighting around the home. You can add doors at the front if you like to make it look like the actual thing. 
I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 